Hey guys, welcome back to SourceFed Nerd. My name's Maud Garrett. And I'm Sam Basher, and this episode is brought to you by the NHTSA, who want to remind you to buckle up your seatbelt. Mad Max Fury Road hits theatres this Friday and the reviews are in. They are almost all extremely positive. In fact, the movie is currently sitting at a whopping 98% on Rotten Tomatoes. Whoa. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Did you hear though I, I said almost all? Yeah, yeah, there's this guy, Aaron Clary, who's a men's rights activist vlogger who vented his woes urging fellow men to boycott Mad Max Fury Road. To which we're like, what? what? Why? Why? Men have had a very rough go of it for just recently and it ends now. This movie is being praised as practically perfect. There's explosive practical action scenes and then there's Charlize Theron who is not only supremely badass but she also manages to survive the apocalypse and is hell-bent set on saving a group of enslaved women. My well, hero. there. You just said it. According to Aaron, this is Hollywood feminist propaganda. To give you insight into his mind, Aaron Clary actually wrote Charlize Theron's character barked orders to Mad Max. Nobody, Nobody barks orders, orders to, to Mad, Mad Max. Max. Nobody puts baby in a corner. And this is why the movie should be boycotted. Not only refused to see the movie, Aaron states, but spread the word to as many men as possible. Because if men sheepishly attend Fury Road and is a blockbuster, then you, me, and all the other men and real women in the world will never be able to see a real action movie ever again that doesn't contain some damn political lecture or more about feminism or social justice warring and socialism. Don't be duped by fire tornadoes, explosions, and albinos. Aaron goes on to describe the film as a Trojan horse for feminists and leftists to push their hidden agenda. In the comments down below, let us know your thoughts on Aaron's review. Ooh, I'm not going to check those comments for two days. It's probably the smartest thing you've said today. Thank you. Also, thank you to our sponsor, the NHTSA, who reminds us to always buckle our seatbelts. Don't be that person making excuses like, I'm just going down the road, or it looks stupid. We're all adults here. Be smart and realize that wearing your seatbelt not only keeps you from getting a ticket, it can also save your life in a car crash. In 2013, there were 9,580 people killed in crashes because they weren't wearing their seatbelts. Please don't become part of that statistic. I'm Maud Garrett. And I'm Sam Basher. Don't be dumb. <laughs> Ooh. 1868, L London, where the oppressed poor are working brutal hours in the smogging industries, and the rich are, oh, they're the Templars. I got a group on for archery a few months ago. <laughs> He's gonna so. kill it. He's gonna kill it. <laughs> Pretty good.